What I think is very feasible and potentially a very good sell is the idea of introducing universal free primary health care services, say up to the district hospital level, of a sensible benefit package. You know, so people are going to know that there aren't going to be kidney transplants and things like this for everyone. But you know, the, you know, the immunizations, the deliveries, some you know, treatments of non-communicable diseases as well, hypertension, diabetes, stuff like that, that is absolutely perfectly feasible at Nigeria's income level. And the evidence for that is that Thailand did that, made that move 12 years ago when its GDP was two thirds of what Nigeria is today. So it's perfectly affordable. You really, really can afford to do that. And I think that, you know, to break it down into, uh, you know, chunks like that, say that within your first presidential term, you can have it that people are feeling confident that if they get sick, they, they'll be able to go to the health centre, or maybe get referred to the hospital, will be a tremendous achievement that will be doable. And so that, that would be, the, I think, the, the obvious ask. And, and then you could say, well, how much would that cost? Okay, that might not be a trillion shillings, but maybe 300 million, and then we get Neil's graph out to say, right, so that's, you know, 10 naira on fuel, and you will become that political hero for, for doing that. I think that would be good. 